That's right, Jeff, and we've been here the whole time. A lot has changed since our last live shot, however. US 23 south of Chillicothe is back open and the medical helicopter that was grounded here, broken down on the highway, has lifted again into the air. It is working. It was grounded on the roadway after arriving here to help a victim of a car crash. However, the engine would not restart for liftoff. They had to wait for another helicopter to fly to this scene from West Virginia, bringing with it wheels so that they could cart that helicopter off. This incident began with a crash. You're looking at photos only on 10 TV of that mangled Jeep. The driver was pinned inside his vehicle in the area right around his legs because the guardrail actually speared through his door. Local firefighters and medics worked frantically for three long hours to safely extricate that man. He's now in serious condition at Grant Hospital and both legs may need to be amputated. Among the first responders trying to help were medics in that helicopter that landed on US 23. The landing itself was fine, but MedFlight would not restart. The problem was realized prior to the patient being loaded on and again, uh, another helicopter arrived out here with equipment to get things moving again. You're looking now at live traffic right here on US 23. It is again reopened. The medical helicopter uh, lifted into the air about 10 minutes ago. And again, that helicopter is functioning as far as we know correctly. Now, no word on exactly what was not working properly earlier. And one last note, again, that man involved in the original accident is at the hospital getting care right away, but he's in serious condition. Reporting live on US 23 south of Chillicothe, I'm Laura Borchers, 10TV News.